Welcome, everybody, to the Vassals of Kingsgrave Soccer Cast. I am, I guess, your host for this session. Uh, I am Bing, formerly Shoe Shiner on the some of uh, uh, the, the podcast of Ice and Fire forums. Um, and joining me is uh, Pat uh, 2.0 on the um, Vassals of King Kingsgrave Discord. Um, and uh, can I just say what an honor it is to be invited on to discuss the, the Euros with the uh, Vassals of Kingsgrave's own soccer supercomputer, Bing. So looking forward to exploring all the uh, subs benches of all the uh, Eastern European countries that are younger than Cristiano Ronaldo have made it through. The, right. Uh, the pages. Yeah. Uh, well, I again, like I mentioned in the last time in which we uh, we just reviewed reviewed the tournament in the group stages, I play a lot of football manager, and that's usually my, where my knowledge extends to. <laughs> Uh, but thank you very much, Paul, for bringing up the fact that we are sort of moving on into the, the more interesting part of the tournament, the knockout rounds. We just had all the group games finished uh, two days ago. We've managed to kick out eight out of 24 teams. Yeah, what an attrition so rate. <laughs> oh, this, this format is so... I don't know. I don't know what the solution is in the future. It talks about expanding to 32 teams, but then what's the point of qualifiers if you're not going to, you're just getting out less than half of the tournament, the, the, the continent. I don't know what the solution is. Well, Bing, the solution is that we need to make more money for UEFA. Of course, so absolutely. it would invariably include increasing it and expanding it to include more teams. Look, um, I mean, I think the potential for expanding it, I mean, in terms of the sheer team quality is right, there could be more. Um, yeah. I'm sure Norway will finally get to qualify if there's 32 teams. Well, I don't know. I, Maybe I, they still fail. You know, I, I think just as a general comment, I think that the way that these groups have dropped um, and with some of the uh, more interesting uh, teams that have qualified and the way that they've qualified, because some of them have qualified quite well, uh, yeah. it, as a surprise, I think UEFA have probably got quite a strong argument for expanding mm -hmm. the numbers to 32 in the next one. So Yeah, and at least the group format will, will be sane instead of this, this yeah. bunch of third place nonsense that this goes on. Which, uh, Speaking of which, oh, and also I should mention, unfortunately, our regular host, the, the, the chief guru of SoccerCast, uh, Pop and Pops, Noah, unfortunately, he cannot be with us here. Uh, but so we will review the group stages in honor of him. Uh, and... <laughs> And hopefully slightly faster than the last time we talked about them. Absolutely. Uh, I well, actually, I, I should not make that promise. Uh, and also, I should also thank uh, Bina uh, for uh, agreeing to to edit this. Hopefully, again, we won't make her job too hard. And hopefully, whatever we say will be helpful for her in her whatever bets or whatever that she's doing in yeah. tournament uh, office pool. Uh, okay, so. Group stages, first of all. Uh, so let's go through all of A6 groups very quickly. Uh, so first group, we kick out two teams from that group. So Germany topped the group with seven points, followed by uh, Denmark, oh, sorry, not Denmark, they're facing Denmark. They're followed by um, Switzerland. Switzerland, and then uh, Hungary, Scotland. So Hungary, in their last match, they did win a game, and it wasn't until the very last day in which they found out actually they won't be making it through, which yeah. that's a bummer. Uh, but uh, so uh, I guess... Uh, we can start. We can start with. Uh, what do you think about? I guess good at poor old Scotland. I I I just think they were overmatched in this tournament. Yeah. I, I I didn't really follow them a great deal. And um, mm. like after the opening match where they got absolutely thumped, mm. um, I think their tournament was over. Yeah. I think they did very well to actually get out of the last two games with a, a measure of dignity. I think and, and recover. Sure. So um, I just I. I I, I, it's arguable about who the worst team in the debatable who the worst team in the the championships was, uh, but I think Scotland are in that debate. I, I I don't know if it is debatable. I think it's it's them by a clear mile. <laughs> <laughs> they they I mean the problem is right for Scotland the line is really thin because they have no striker, they have no attack. Yeah, like, yeah. they and have got very little, Yeah, they've got a handful of, of of very good players, but they sure. don't really have any squad depth either, do they? No, That's the thing. No. Yeah. I think they were also hit by injuries really hard. Yeah. Um, and especially their right backs should be a strength, but it turned out to be a giant weakness because all of their good right backs were injured and have to play this guy Tony Ralston for three games, and he was oh yeah, he, he was he tragic. had a, he had a tough tournament. Yeah. He was tragic. I, that, that guy, that guy is not up to this. He, he's just not. And, and I don't know. It's not his fault. He, that he's just not. He's not qualified to play in these games. Mm -hmm. um, 
But yeah, so they had a very thin line and they scuffed the first game. It's tough. They yeah. played the very first game against the host. It, the pressure, the, 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 the occasion, it gets to you. They mess things up. One of the defenders gets a horrible red card really early on. It's, you, you can't recover from that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, goodbye Scotland. And Hungary also out. There were some people who, I think we talked a little bit about this in pre but point people going here, hey, Hungary, decent team. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, nah. I don't, I don't know. I didn't think they were bad. Like, uh, 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 okay, they're not. They didn't qualify, so they are by virtue of that in the in the worst quarter of the teams involved. Yeah. But uh, I didn't think I didn't think they were terrible. I think um, they gave a good account of themselves. I think the, the, their difficulty was they are too reliant on their one very good player, Dominic yeah. Chaboslai, when he's taking everything. And I think that just. It gives better teams the ability to shut them down, really, because everything is going to go through him. Yeah, but no, I, I, think I, thought, I thought he had a good tournament. So uh, he, he was. I think he was. He was not. He was okay. I think Switzerland game he wasn't that good. Germany he was better. And I think Scotland he was really good. But then Scotland like, he has to. Has to yeah, the and then um, we should also mention that Varga, the, the player who got injured as well. Oh that yeah, was quite that unfortunate. Was yeah, that was bad. Um, but uh, uh, I think. Yeah, I think I think he's on the road to recovering, isn't he? I yeah. think it was a fracture. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, best wishes to him. Um, again, Hungary they got that last minute winner against Scotland. Things were looking okay for a while, but then things in the other groups happened, and then they they had to sit there thinking they're through for three days, and then they're not. So goodbye, Hungary as well. Uh, Germany and Switzerland. Uh, I think with Germany, I, my my thing about Germany is I think their first game maybe set the bar too high. <laughs> Yes, yeah. uh, and I'm, and and maybe they just happened to play the the, the team that was the the again, the worst you know tournament who lost the plot in the, in, uh, be, because of the occasion. I don't know yeah. they're actually that good as some people are suggesting they are. I was really surprised. Uh, I've watched. I haven't watched a lot of them, but I watched the opening game. And I've watched yeah. highlights of their other two games, and uh, I do like the way they're playing with those two number tens. Uh, Verts yeah. and Musiala have been. Fantastic. I, particularly Musiala has been really Musiala, entertaining yeah. to watch. So I think um, for that, I think they, they again, against Scotland, they were brilliant. And I, I think also uh, uh, there's been talk of them when they go into the round of 16, they're actually going to play full crook yeah. instead of Havertz from the start, uh, which I think will, they, they'll up a gear, basically. So the I most think. recent news is actually they dropped words for <laughs> full crook. Um, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So but again, so with full crook, Yes, absolutely. Again, I said it from the very start. He should start, right? Hmm. I, uh, I was on, on, on this corner from the very beginning. So uh, if that's the choice, it's great. I think the it's still a work in progress of them to number 10s. Again, against Scotland, they were magnificent. Against Hungary, they were right. Against Switzerland, it was really touchy. <laughs> well, we haven't talked about the Swiss, uh, and yeah. I think they're just a very good side. They are, absolutely. So, yeah. you know, I, I, again, one of, of the surprises, really. But uh, again, I think they're a team who have, um, they've got some more to give as well. I was very impressed in their first game with Mbolo, yeah. and I was really surprised he didn't get a start in the second game. He's come back from injury. Uh, I think yeah. he's got a lot of uh, he's got all the attributes to be a top class striker. I think. Well, he, that's um, the thing. Well, he's not that young anymore. He was young. That's the yeah. Well, he's missed the season through injury, hasn't he? So yeah, yeah. yeah that's a, that's his main problem. Um, yeah. He so I think yeah no Switzerland is sort of a rotating sort of Car Caruso of whoever they put on top. They I think they actually started with this guy named Dua. Was, was yes. Somewhere. I I don't know who that guy is. I'll, I'll be honest. You, you think I'm sort of, yeah? No, I don't know who that guy was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he scored a goal, and then and then I think Angola yeah. came off the bench, and he was yeah he was pretty good. Uh, and then they they against Scotland they went with Shakiri at up top, which worked somehow. <laughs> I don't yeah. understand your again, Shonan Shakiri. I'm stopped. I stopped trying to make sense of this guy. He's objectively terrible in MLS. Like, yeah, he is obviously he, his team is one of the worst teams in MLS for several years now. And he yeah, for them. you yeah, were grumbling on. about this on the Discord, though, yeah. weren't you? And and, yeah. and I said, yeah, but the thing is, Bing, he can hit a ball really hard still. I guess, he, yeah, he, he does hit the ball really hard. So. Um, and I think that's what he's, he's got. I think um, I think it, one of the things that we're seeing in this tournament is that some coaches are very good mm -hmm. and some coaches are average. Mm -hmm. And I think a very good coach can take a limited player who has maybe one or two things that they're exceptional at and weave them into a team mm -hmm. and, and make them help make the team tick. 
Yeah. Um, whereas an average coach <laughs> almost has to have an array of talented players to just get by. Mm. And uh, I mean, I, I don't want to be too severe, but I think uh, Deschamps and Southgate fall into the latter category. I can't um, remember yeah. who the name of the uh, the Swiss manager is. I think, he's in the, I think he's in the former category. I think he's somebody who can, you know, make a, 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 a you know, a team play to limited players um, strengths. You know, so, he, he manages to get the best out of them. To give credit to some of the Swiss young players, I mean, okay, I have my questions. I still have questions about their attack. Um, I think their midfield, the central midfield, has been dominant, especially yeah. like I said again, uh, Granit Xhaka, what mm-hmm. a player! Mm-hmm. Absolutely, all three games, he 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 was top. I think against Germany, in the last goal, maybe you, you can question his uh, involvement in that one, but consistent and again he's going to play every game he's going to play every game yeah and i That's think he, um, i think he's been given the uefa mm-hmm. uh, player of the match in two of the three games that yeah. switzerland have played yeah you can you can always count on that guy and that that guy can go one on one against any of any other top midfielder in this entire in the entire world, right? Yeah. So that's a good foundation to build on. And I think that in defense, Akanji has all the uh, yes, it makes sense again. Yeah, you need your best player, and I think the, that's the other important thing about this tournament. You need your best players to step up. And I think some of the the, the other teams that have been struggling, their best player just wasn't there. And yeah, well, the, 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 that's part of that, uh, yeah. and we can talk about it when we get to the other teams. But I do think a lot of it does fall on the coaches. I know right. there's a cliche in football, you know, once the players run out in the park, the coach really can't do much. Mm-hmm. But I do think that like, we're seeing it with some of the managers of, of, of these teams who have got two or three gifted players and um, a squad of journeymen, for yeah. want of a better phrase, and they are getting results. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so I do think the uh, the tactic the tactical side of it, the coaching side of it, I, I think is playing a big part. Yeah. Uh, speaking of coaching side, I can I think we need to get to Group B because there's some interesting because Group B is yet another group is the other group that has uh, two teams kicked out and one of them. All right, hands up. I made a prediction that they would top the group. They're out of the tournament. Awesome predictions. What a genius I am. Uh, yeah, well, to be fair, big. I think it, it's one of the, a few that you've got wrong. So Look, Albania only gave them five percent chance, <laughs> and they looked like they had the five percent <laughs> when they scored in like five seconds against Italy, right? <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's the full extent of chances I gave them, and and and, 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 and so, <laughs> I mean, okay, but uh, I'll, I'll, okay to say something about things, they they weren't bad, right? All three games, they were in all three games. No, I think they uh, just uh, suffered from being in a, an exceptionally tough group. Yeah, and I feel like they, they could have just they they got that lead against Italy if they just didn't just completely withdrawn one hundred percent back to and just gave Italy every single room they all the room they had. I feel like Albania had a chance. But it's just... I, 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 I think if they'd have been in, uh, you know, one of maybe three or four other groups, they would have, they would have had a good chance of probably, qualifying. Yeah, yeah. probably. Um, it's just I think tactically they should have just been a bit more aggressive yeah. um, against both Italy and Croatia. We can, um, and, and and they may have because because I don't think Italy. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Croatia. I got it wrong. The problem is I think this is a tournament in which you finally saw Luka Modric becoming mortal. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh-huh. it, it's not just Luka Modric. I mean, he is the oldest of them, but I mean, Kovacic yeah. is in his 30s as well. Like yeah. this yeah. this team has grown old together. Yeah. Um, um, so. And I think another guy who has grown old or probably just out becoming out of date is their coach. And speaking of managers who... <laughs> okay. Hating- all of his decisions, I, I cannot make sense of them. It's just he, I mean, credit to his early achievements, getting Croatia to to, to, to second place in World Cup and then sem- final World Cup. It's magnificent, yeah. sure, but he, he got this tournament all wrong. Okay, who, yeah. okay, given the fact that all those guys are now too old, right? Who is their actual yeah. best player now? It's just a guard, it's, it's Guardio now, right? It has to be him. Yeah. He's your best central defender, but why are you playing him left back? Well, I mean, as somebody who will uh, sort of, I, I, I'll, I'll present the case for the other side. I'll mm-hmm. play devil's advocate here. Sure, um, he's played that position for City. I know. Uh, at least about half a dozen, maybe 10 mm-hmm. times towards the end of the season and been very effective. Yeah. He hit a purple patch sure. the last quarter of the season, popped up with important goals and assists. And mm-hmm. uh, it, it was basically playing this this, this uh, attacking left back sure. position, you know, where Pep has a, almost like a lopsided defence and yeah. one of the fullbacks is given freedom to pop up in the opposition box. Absolutely. So I think that's what the, 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 the Croatia coach has tried to, to leverage. But I think... Um, you're not, you're not the, City. <laughs> well, that's it. I think one of the mistakes that a lot of these uh, international teams make is that they, they almost 
they, they don't have the same amount of time with the team as Pep does. Yeah. And they try something that's quite tactically complicated yeah. and the whole team's not been drilled on it and no. it doesn't always work. So. No, and, and doesn't fit the team's need. Pep can do yeah. that because his central defense is Ruben Diaz and, and, and Manuel Kanji. Yeah. So, 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 so he could put Guardiola and do this crazy thing. Yeah. Your yeah. central but, defense is actually your main weakness. So you yeah, have to play your best player in, in, in that most critical position. Well, uh, and then at, at the risk of going off on a tangent, sure, just please. to talk briefly on the, the whole Pep thing, Yeah, that's one thing I noticed about the Belgium team is mm -hmm. uh, De Bruyne was fantastic in every game, but he was not, I would say, he was only on the same wavelength as the rest of his team about 30% of the time. Yeah, Like the amount of misplaced passes, people aren't reading no. where the ball is supposed to be going. You know, and you can see, um, like I was so frustrated by the end. It's like, why aren't yeah, you or, this or you their do? passes into his feet are over hit? Yeah, you know, and it, like players who play at City are playing with a different caliber of player than they are with their international teams. You know, practically, so. it's just it's it, it's it's night and day. You cannot copy what this guy is doing at City to your national team. You can't just copy and paste. This just doesn't work. Yeah, you yeah. need to put that player now in a different. He has these assets. You need to play those assets to what how it helps your team. Yeah, and definitely. So, um, just talking about that though, and and if we move on to Italy, yeah, please. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I'm going to give a shout out to another pod. I know it's not the done thing on Voc, but no, please. Um, I've been listening to uh, a pod called the Double Double Pivot Pod. I don't know if you right. listen to it. Uh, um, no, but please. Okay, well, they they talk quite a bit about um the tactical side of the game yeah. and they've been talking about the Euros and they were actually um congratulate the Italian coach Spalletti who would they were saying um has done the opposite of a lot of uh, the uh, the national team managers in that he's tried to set a system up because he knows he's got a limited team yeah he's tried to set a system up that will make the most of his team and mm -hmm. it has taken risks which is unusual for an Italian side you know because he is playing with a lopsided defense um mm -hmm. and he's trying to have overloads out wide um and I thought that was quite interesting, you know, but they do look fragile. You know, yeah, they they yeah. were. The, the, the late goal by Zakani, uh, which is last, literally last second, right? Yeah. They would have gone he, out. They yeah, would have gone they, out. And he was the only player who was going to score it. They seemed to have a real problem scoring goals. No. Uh, they, you know, so. Yeah, no. The, they were, again, against Albania, they immediately gave up a goal. Again, they came back because Albania gave them everything, gave them all the room to do everything they wanted. Yeah. Um, against Spain, they had no chance. Spain only scored one goal, but they should have had so many more. Um, yeah. And again, again, Croatia, they should have lost that game 100%. Croatia just made dumb mistakes in central defense and just gave the game away. Yeah. Um, so uh, the, this Italy thing, if this Italy, again, if this team's going to have any chance, it's going to be something like Portugal in 2016. They're just going to have, have to yeah. have all the luck go their way and they just somehow bumble through, right? Yeah. Well, well, well they are in this uh, famous soft half of the draw, aren't they? Sure. But they're, 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 they're the reason why that has to stop because England. they are in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's what everybody says. That one of the reasons it's a soft half is because that yeah. their team is in it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, and 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 in fact, I think they're the softest of them all. Also, really? I, mean, I, I also made me like Slovakia or something. Like, I think they're they're definitely softer than. Yeah, I know. In, we'll talk. Get to England soon. We'll talk. Get to Netherlands soon. And, yeah. And, well, 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 well. Well, let's save this for the round of sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Um, so, so, yeah. Talk to me about Spain now. Oh, yeah. Right. No. Why do we? What, what what do we think of the Spain side? Do you think that they are deserving of the favourites tag? Um, so right now they definitely have played the best football out of every single team so far. Right, they've mm -hmm. looked the best. Uh, my caution going forward is that uh, often people get a little bit too effusive on group play. Even you know, to think, no, you're only playing against three, two, three other teams. Yeah. And it just so happens, again, it's a tough group, so so, so it's not like they were easy games. But matchups, they, those are games that favored Spain. Um, again, again, Croatia, they went to try to fight uh, Spain in the middle, but just they opened the defense up completely and just allowed Spain to like score three goals in like, what, five, ten minutes? Yeah. And then Italy, who just had no, just completely outmatched, just gave away every single possession, just let Spain do whatever they want. And Albania, that game didn't, didn't even matter. Um, so, I mean, they are good. Again, I talked about their young players. I, I said, said that it's not that I don't, I don't, I'm not saying they're not good. They, they're still young. They need to prove it. They, they, they can hack it at this level. So far, so good. Nico Williams, insane. Yeah. Uh, yes. He, he uh, I, 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 there's been a, um, a handful of players who I have not seen before who have really impressed me in this tournament. Um, and he is 
Yeah. I think he is a standout player. Um, he has got all the tricks. Yeah. You know, um, it, that's the like thing about him though, sometimes he lacks that in front. And so far, yeah, he looks really dominant. Doesn't have a goal assist yet, which yeah. again, not his fault. Completely his fault. Yeah, but, but I mean, again, like uh, to draw a parallel with England, which I know is off topic. Uh, I, I think having that uh, tricky winger who can beat his man, no. it, it, it is invaluable because, like, it, it allows ball progression up the field. No, no of course, no, he's, you know, he's really good. You know, once he's you've really got good. your nose in front, um, he's an out ball. You know, yeah. to keep the ball up the other end of the park. And I, I don't think I've seen in any of the games that I've watched that he's played. I don't think I've seen any fullback get the measure of him. No, no. You know, so yeah. that usually they're having to double or triple up on him, which is just creating space yeah. in other parts of the park. And I think you might find that's why he's not got the goal or the assist. No, no, no. no. He, because he he's listening. pulling players away, releasing the ball, and he's assisting the assister. You know, yeah. um, it's he's really he, good. He, yeah, very good player. And the other side, Lamin Ma. <laughs> yeah. Who, I don't um, know. 16 yeah. years old. Okay, sure. Yeah. It, amusingly, just ask, ask apparently something. <laughs> It's yeah, well, it, uh, uh, apparently he's had to have special dispensation yeah. because in Germany, um, if you're under the age of 18, you're not allowed to work yeah. after 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So he, he shouldn't technically be playing any of the, yeah. the, the late kickoffs. But anyway. So, yeah, again, so far, so good, right? Um, I yep. think what what hasn't been talked about as much, the defense hasn't been that as good. Croatia absolutely okay. should have scored so many more goals. They scored zero because they just... Didn't want to score. They yeah. squandered every single chance, including missing a penalty. Um, they ha also have some injury worries with Morata and Rodri. Well, is Rodri, Rodri mm -hmm. will be the big miss because, yeah. um, <laughs> again, to go back to the double pivot pod, they made the point that um, the Spanish coach is able to get away with playing the attacking formation that he does yeah. because Rodri can basically do the job of two players. Basically, it's, yeah. they thought he's, he's a cheat code, really. Because he is a fantastic attacking player yeah. who can play his way out of tight spaces, mm -hmm. pick a pass, has got a great shot, and also probably the best screening defensive think, midfielder in the world. So, best, you know. He's kind of like Bastian Schweinsteiger, I think, that might be the most best comparison at his prime for yeah, Germany. Yeah. Um, yeah, he can do everything. Um, yeah. and, he, and he will just play it at his, at his best full fitness, he will just do everything. Um, no, yeah. So having him in a squad is vitally important. So we'll see yeah. how his fitness issue go forward. Um, again, central defense, I'm still not convinced. Neither of the, the French people that just get yeah, both of their, their center backs are French. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. But both of them haven't been that impressive. We'll, get, we'll see. Yeah. yeah well, uh, you're probably making a good point there because all, although the defense has got good stats, um, you know, they've not conceded, I don't think. Or if they have, it's only one or two. Mm, they've but, not conceded, no. Yeah. And, um, but then maybe they've not been tested. Like Italy, Croatia, Albania, none of those attacks have really. Well, Croatia did. They just Croatia just completely flubbed the line <laughs> every single time yeah. they got anywhere close to, to, to actually trying to score at all. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, Italy and Albania didn't, didn't even try uh, to test the, the Spanish defense that much. So we'll see, right? Um, yeah. I, again, they're, they're actually their next round of 16 matchup could actually test this, test their defense, interesting enough, but we'll get there. Yes. Yeah, uh, group C, I don't. Oh my God, Group C. I despise Group C. Yeah, let's not talk too long about it. I have got a uh, a couple of points I want to make. Please. Then um, uh, I think we can skip on it. I, I want to shoot um, every single one of these teams into the sun. Yeah. Um, what I would like to say is I do think, um, despite all England's problems, yeah, I think Mark Gahey has had an outstanding tournament. Oh, I think good. I've seen him make one mistake. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, and that has been a great. It's been a, a pleasant surprise. It's been a great addition to the England squad. And I, I do seriously believe that if Harry Maguire had been fit and available, Southgate still would have played him. And I, oh, yeah, I think England would have been in real trouble then. So, uh, or or, <laughs> or he, they could have maybe scored more, a few more goals because, again, Maguire on set pieces is apparently one of, one of Southgate's main attacking yeah. ideas. <laughs> England, well... Uh, you were talking about the Croatian coach maybe having gone past his sell-by date because he's mm -hmm. not come up with anything new tactically. I think you could probably say something similar about Southgate. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. He has done really well with England in the past. Um, sure. But I do think he is one of these coaches who is not making the most of the talent I mean, he's available. Look, look, all the other coaches, they don't have to face the, 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 the gigantic challenge of having to not have... Not, not have, not, not have 
Kelvin Phillips in his side, okay? Nobody has to face such a great challenge. <laughs> yes. yeah. Never mind the fact that he could have just caught up Kelvin Phillips. Yeah, I, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I, I, I Before this tournament, I, I, I quite respected Gareth Southgate. I thought he'd done quite well because it's a difficult job. He's yeah. the fact he's got all these great players because he does come under yeah. a lot of in, intense media scrutiny. But I, 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 I've got very angry with him this tournament <laughs> over playing Brent where he has because he's given him this quarterback role and then not giving him any runners to hit with the ball. And you're like, you just set this young guy up to fail. You know, why are you doing this? And like now a, a lot of the talk amongst the uh, English mm-hmm. journalists now is that they're going to solve the problem of the left back because England didn't actually bring a fit left footed yeah. left back to the tournament. Yeah. They're going to solve it by playing Saka in that position. And I'm like, like again, all we're doing is just setting this young lad up to fail. Why, why are we going to put him in this difficult position? You know, he'd be better dropped. And I, there, there are quite a few club fans are now saying, look, we just want our players back before Southgate breaks them because, he, you know, he is not doing these these young players any favors. He's putting them, on, uh, yeah. you know, he, he's putting them in positions where they can't succeed. Why so, are you calling up all these attacking players if you're not going to play that? What's the point? Like, what's the point of calling up Cole Palmer if you're not going to trust him with, with like? Well, no, no, by all means, play him. But uh, like, I, 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 I don't see why Southgate feels his solution to his problem is to call up all these attacking players. No, no, he shouldn't. And have. just put them, put them all on the pitch at the same time. No, he shouldn't. Know? Have. Like, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, if, the, um, if the problem is missing Calvin Phillips, then put him in call with a few more central midfielders. Okay, you don't trust Adam Warden? I think Adam Warden is the solution. I'm, I'm being completely serious now. Yeah. Who is the closest player to Adam to, to, to Calvin Phillips in that team? It's Adam Warden, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, him. He, 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 even again, playing Conor Gallagher. Like, Conor Gallagher is not, definitely not that player. No, it's crazy. Like, and we talked about this in the um, the first pod that we did on the tournament. Yeah. We said that he was picking multiple players for the same position and trying to play them all in the same yeah. team, and it, 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 it's not working. He, he's going to he's going to need to make some brave calls. You know, <laughs> I think um, Phil Foden returning to England may be a blessing in disguise because it may force him to play Anthony Gordon, which might give the team a bit more balance. But like he he, he should have taken a left back. I, I don't understand why he's taken what four Crystal Palace players and he couldn't find space for Tyrick Mitchell. You know, like they've got twenty six player squads. You know, I think it, it was crazy. Caught between, I I need to call up that player because he's the Premier League Player of the Year. I need to call up this player. All these people go praising him rather than yeah. I have I I have this tactical plan in, in place. These are the players I need to make that tactical plan. No, so he caught up a bunch of square pegs to put into round holes. Yeah, and he's not adaptable enough to change his tactics and try to then actually fit these players. So now we're stuck with this. Yeah. Well, we, red watch we have to wait and see. He's got, he's got another, he's got another chance, hasn't he? So got okay. the, they've got at least one more match. It's his specialty, right? Making it out of the group in snooze, completely snooze terrific <laughs> manner and then move on yeah. and far in the tournament. Because they, they, they got into the half of tournament in which the yeah. path is open for you if you want to take it. Yeah. But at the moment, Slovakia is looking like a huge challenge. Yes, because uh, uh, you, you, you're looking at the performance that um, the Slovaks put on um, and uh, and thinking, like, this is, is a team that's almost set up to nullify. Um, if you're not going to break them down, then yeah. yeah. Look, every, I, I, just, I said this at the end of the last spot. Every single one of these, this, these teams in the Euros, including all the ones that got knocked out, if you don't take them seriously, they can hurt you. Yeah. If you play to your best, you should be able to beat the Slovakia. You should be, but you, if you said play to your best, you should have beaten, beaten the Slovenia, but you didn't. Yeah. So uh, the other teams, I don't know. Do, I don't want to say any much more about them. They, I kind of just hate all of them. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Like none of these teams have really entertained, have they? None no. of them have been, they, been, been great or, or, or shown any of the flair that, that you want. And I think uh, Slovenia, I'm pretty sure they've got out of the group. The, Slovenia, no, they, they did what they have to do. Yeah, the, they they have two players that are actually of world, uh, world class quality. I think Cesko, Again, I said Cesko, he's young. Yes. I'm not sure he's going to deliver yet. He's had moments, but he's not there yet. Uh, yeah. O'Black, magnificent. Yes. The other players, however, played up. So we can give them credit. They got yeah. out of the group with three, three draws. Well, that's, if that's what they have to do, that's what they have to do. Yeah. Denmark yeah. played down a bit, I guess. Denmark, the problem ever since the last World Cup, they can't score goals. Yes. Although the one that they got against England was an absolute belter. Yeah, of course. But that, those are the kinds of goals in which and you, you it made me think, um, 
do you think the Man United scouting squad got confused and actually signed the wrong Hjoyland? Uh, well, that's a Hjormund. Uh, exactly. And Hjormund and Hjormund. Look, I, so I'm just wondering if the, the scout got as confused as me and picked up the wrong player. Yeah, I can believe anything. Confident, <laughs> but, um, I, I mean, they'll give you that. I actually want to sign Hjormund this summer. That would actually be a good signing. He's a great, he's, he's a great up-and-coming uh, holding midfielder. I think they need that. Uh, yeah. But he's suspended for the next round. Uh, so, good luck. <laughs> Right, yeah, but that just makes their job a little bit harder. Serbia, I said what they are. We said what they are. Yeah, good talent. The, the names jump out at you and say that they should be good. They never go. Yeah, and the same scenario once again, exactly same scenario once again. They're out, so it's not surprising at all. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I think we can move on to Group Group D. D. Okay. Uh, did you? I, uh, I. I mean, I was pretty positive about Austria. Did you expect? I didn't expect them to win this group. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't expect them to win this group, and uh, I know that they they've got a, a handful of very good players, and uh, Sabitz, uh, I think Baumgartner as well plays. Does yeah. he play Bundesliga too? Uh, yeah, no, and most of them do. Leipzig. Baumgartner. Yeah, so I I know that these have, have been you know highly praised for their performances in the Bundesliga, but I'm coming at this from somebody who doesn't watch a lot of Bundesliga and mm-hmm. you know is very Premier League focused. So I'd yeah. almost dismiss them because. Sabitzer was like a, a Man United reject, you know, from being like, yeah, exactly. But you know, he never lit up the Premier League when he had the opportunity. Sure. Okay, so, so he, 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 I'd almost dismiss them. And mm-hmm. uh, I, 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 now I think with the teams that they have finished above to top this group, I think they need a lot of respect. Yeah. So, so I unlike most other teams, in this, yeah, unlike most other teams, in this, they know exactly who they are, and they will exactly yeah. play that exact same style. Uh, they're going to concede goals. And, but they're just going to keep coming at you. They're relentless. That's the that's Ralph Randing. He's the yeah. he's the the, the er father of Gegen Press. And like yeah. you talk, people talking about Klopp, Thomas Tuchel. They're all his disciples. Yeah, that's the, he's the he by far. I think it's it's him. It's maybe Nagos men and it's Letty for Italy. These are the best coaches in this entire in this tournament. Um, yeah, and, and yeah, no, the, 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 the yeah. Squad. Well, like I, I think it's what you're saying. I think their real strength is the energy that they have in their midfield. Sure. They've got some quality there, and uh, they um they, they they've made chances. They've scored goals. They've done yeah. really well. They're not scared, and they're not. They don't play scared, right? They don't. They're not scared of anybody. They won no. at France. They, okay, they didn't score. France you nullified their midfield strength with Golo Kante. <laughs> it's apparently just back as a cyborg. Um, yeah, I mean, rolling back only, the years. Yeah, but they only lost because of their own goal. Okay, but the fact that the next game, Poland got a bit of setback, got dropped, and then you continue to just wave after wave coming in Poland, and eventually that that damn broke. And against Netherlands again, lucky start with a bizarre own goal, um, but the Netherlands came. They, the Netherlands were actually playing very well in the second half, but the Austrians just keep coming by, just punch them back. When I, the yeah. Netherlands scored, and Austrians immediately scored right back. And in, in the end, the Netherlands ran out of juice. That's scary. Yeah. Um, France is France is the same as England. In fact, if you look at France and you look at England, they look exactly the same. Yeah. They, 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 they play this um, same amount this of points, amount of football, exactly the same amount of goals scored and go against. Yeah. They're exactly the same. Yeah. They they, they 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 just wear down the opposition by boring them to death, and then rely on moments of brilliance from their talented attackers. So yeah, it's um it, it's disappointing, but I, I suppose as they go further in, they're playing better quality teams, and there's more jeopardy now because it's knockout stages. That they will have to mm-hmm. up their game, or they'll they'll be going home. So. So you give maybe give France a bit more credit because they have more tournament past tournament success or the last two World Cups. Yes. Um, yeah. They have players are actually performing like exceptionally well. Nico Conte. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's okay. So Mbappe again. I've never broken my nose before. People who wear masks, it looks funny. People make jokes. How much does that think, actually hamper you? I don't know. Well, I I think like the uh, who was their last game against Poland. Um, I, I think what I noticed when I watched him in that game yeah. was that he is now not a threat at dead ball situations. Sure. Because he hasn't got any aerial presence. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. So he started taking corners and, mm-hmm. um, you know, and I think that, 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 that means he's not as dangerous as he was. Yeah. You know, you've removed one, one, one of the angles, uh, 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 one of the aspects of his game. 
and he it, it, it's obviously causing him a lot of pain because yeah. he did accidentally take an elbow in the face at one of the mm. free kicks i think you know and he uh, it, like it, it hurt i don't think any damage was done but he was very upset with the player who'd done it yeah. you know afterwards so um I, it will be an ongoing issue. It shouldn't affect his game, but I think it will. So we'll we'll um, we'll see. It's again the the other players. They're just not. They don't look in sync. Maybe they no. have time to fix this. But again, it's really they're, again they're 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 like England, but they have even less room for screwing up against England against Slovakia. Maybe they can mess up a little bit and still go through. Yeah, they play Belgium. We'll, we'll talk about Belgium. They, they they're a different can of worms. But that's still a team that can still hurt you really badly if you make any one single mistake. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. You know, it's, so you can't take that tight, tight. You can you can't take them lightly. No, uh, um, and and that that half of the draw is stacked with teams like yeah. that now. So they they put themselves into that in, into that position. And they knew as well, didn't they? They, they, they knew they, they, that 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 game that was being played against it was Poland, wasn't it? And, yeah, uh, we're already out. You know, and uh, they 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 knew, but I think what um what everybody was talking about was the, the they were saying, well, look, it, it, like with ten minutes to go, and they knew, you know, that they had that they were through. Mm-hmm. It's almost like, well, do we do we go for it and risk conceding one, <laughs> you know, and then suddenly we might not be going through, or do we mm-hmm. just sit back, your friends, you know, and set up for what we've got? So. Your friends, they're Poland. They've all due respect. Yes. Uh, and we'll talk about it's the same mindset that Belgium had in the next group. Yeah, with all due respect, you think like that, that's when you start really, that, that means, and that mentality carries forward, th- that could really hurt you. Like, yeah. t- so, talent wise, that's it, you're above everybody by a mile. So, the, um, so bring it down the, to the, 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 there's been a lot of talk in the, uh, the sort of media in the UK about how this format doesn't work and how a lot of these last games were like, dead rubbers and unexciting and mm-hmm. and but i do think it, it it was interesting seeing this element of jeopardy yeah you know where you're looking at teams like belgium and france who are happy to play out for a draw almost mm-hmm. yeah just because they know that even though they're up against somebody who they should be beating they're you know they, they just don't want to take the risk yeah. yeah so yeah well have fun and in many ways france and belgium deserve each other <laughs> uh netherlands they they have a giant hole in their midfield. They're they're like a donut. Yes. Yeah. The injuries <laughs> that we were talking about in the uh, first pod of uh, yeah. uh, have hurt them, haven't they? And uh, yeah. the one player who they've got to fill that sort of hole, Javi Simmons, I don't think he's um, he's one hundred percent fit either. Well, so and, and also, just him. not that does not should not be his role. Um, yeah. She can she cannot do what Frankie Dion does. Just, yeah. just or or or, or Coop Miners or all these other like he he's an attacking out and out attacking player. You put this guy maybe as like a guy behind a striker, right? Um, but you can't. This he's he's too lightweight. Yeah. Um, and the other two, the, the Veerman is. I mean, the Van der Vaart cop is funny, but it's terrible. But it's also kind of true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you should just say that again for people who weren't on the Discord. Okay. Uh, oh. let, me, let me see if I remember. Uh, what was it? Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, Raphael Van der Vaart. I'm trying to pull all the way back. But I do remember reading it on the Discord and thinking well, that is savage. Uh, <laughs> crap. Oh yeah. I feel sorry for Jerry Veerman. I was happy he got taken off because it was it actually became super sad when watching play. <laughs> so savage. Uh, so, oh and uh, I don't suppose like I think the Netherlands are going to really struggle. So I, I don't know how this team beat Iceland so comfortably when England lost to them. Oh no! I mean, why well, it's that's England? That's more England's problem, I think. Um, <laughs> another issue is they haven't they played Jeremy Frimpong the yeah. first half against France and he looked awesome. And then yeah. he start they stopped playing him. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh, well, we we are dealing with the enigmatic Dutch here, aren't we? Yeah. So uh, well, Ronald we're Koeman, the enigmatic Ronald, Ronald Koeman, in his bizarre mind. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I don't think there is any coach in the world who is good is as good as Ronald Koeman is in his own mind. So yeah. um, uh, it, it, it it is what it is. But I I think again they're going to struggle, aren't they? I, I can't see them. Again, we'll talk about what's going to happen in the next round. But yeah, yeah this is. 
this, they are yeah. they are a limited team with, because of the injuries. Yeah, yeah. Um, Poland, Poland are what they are. I think they actually did okay considering what they are. Um, but they are what they are. <laughs> yeah, and uh, most of the talk here was like why Lewandowski didn't start in the first. Oh, game. he's injured. Well, he's injured. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he didn't seem to be injured when he was playing against France. He seemed well, he to be better. rolling back the years. So. Uh, he got better by the second by the game. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. It, this team is just... Uh, some of the young players look okay. Uh, maybe there's hope in the future, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, the... Oh, um, yeah, the, the, the goalkeeper, yeah. Skorupski. Yeah, change, changing of the guard. Uh, yeah. uh, goalkeeper, yeah. Mishesny was actually pretty good in the first two games, but yeah, Skorupski. <laughs> yeah, he had a fantastic fantastic yeah. game at the end so maybe one for uh, the future definitely uh i think he's 27 or something like that right <laughs> uh, but anyways well i will uh, bow to your superior football manager knowledge i, I, I could be completely wrong <laughs> anybody's gonna know you are so no I, i'm probably completely wrong uh next group group e oh my god everybody has four points in this group <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I loved your comment in the Discord. It's like, uh, I'm so sorry, Romania. You know, I just didn't know your game because uh, Romania, we had dismissed. I think uh, when we were talking about it in our, our first part of the, the Euros, mm -hmm. we had them finishing bottom of the group. <laughs> I don't know if I just made, made any predictions. I think I actually yeah. predicted Slovakia to be the bottom. It doesn't matter. How, I was how, wrong, how wrong we were. Uh, I'll, but again, it doesn't I mean, I don't know we're that wrong. They all have four points. <laughs> yes. The only reason the only reason Ukraine is out because they, they screwed up a bit too much in the first game and conceded too many goals. Yeah. That's it. Um the um Belgium, oh my god. A whole this, mess. Oh yeah, no, this team they, they after, got booed off. They got booed off. Yeah. After own goals, Roman Lukaku offside goals is the second highest scorer of yeah. the tournament. So. Of course. Um which I don't know if that's just Lukaku was actually playing well and he was unlucky. Uh this is I, 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 I'll be honest. I, I don't think it's playing well. I, like I, I've watched a number of offside goals in this tournament, yeah. and I, I, it frustrates me so much. It was the same with, with the Foden offside goal for England. When you see a striker on the wing, looking down the line, making their run, they can see every defender in front of them, and they know the ball hasn't been passed, and they move into the offside position. They don't <laughs> bend the run. They just go straight for it. And mm -hmm. like I, 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 I think it for a player of of Lukaku's caliber, who can outpace most defenders anyway, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any excuse really. You know, this team is does again. Okay, so I talked about Tedesco, Tedesco a little bit in the last pod. I said this is a guy who's sometimes who often starts out well and then flames out. I think yeah. the fire, it's it's on the team is on fire now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. think he's on fire. <laughs> Yeah, so somebody has put the uh, fire extinguisher on, and they are out now. Yeah, no, so. they they are. Uh, this is a team that's. They were. Uh, they, I don't know if you saw in, in their last game. They were. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne was taking the ball to a corner flag, uh, and like, and they got a corner, and then Kevin De Bruyne decided to waste more time in a no nil game in which if they just taken the corner normally, maybe they score a goal. Imagine that. Yeah, and, and this is the group. This is what we were saying about France as well. Oh, like, yeah. what, this was a, a, a time where uh, and, uh, it was like probably even more inexcusable for Belgium because no. they, they know they're going to play France. They, they yeah. knew the result was going to They won France, apparently. <laughs> okay. I mean, th th that's, that, that's, that's what that tells me, right? You want France. They, they, yeah, well, <laughs> it, they, they may well want France, but they might feel differently after the round of 16. <laughs> So up, we're, right? we're, yeah, we'll wait and see. Uh, yeah, because it's going to be it'll be it, it'll be one of the the uh, round of sixteen matches that I watch fully. Like I I don't always have the time to watch all of the matches. There will be some I will make time for. That won't that will be one of them, and it will inevitably be a hundred and twenty minutes oh, of yeah. bore suffer football. Um, and then we'll have penalties after nil nil. So, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Romania, Slovakia. Okay, I'm not convinced Slovakia is actually good. Belgium yeah. sort of gifted Slovakia a goal in the first you know, like, I know, 10 minutes or something like that and then just fucked around <laughs> for the rest of the, the yeah, game. Yeah, well, again, we're, we're, we're talking about good coaches making the most out of yeah, limited yeah. teams with a, ha a sprinkling of good players. And I do think in Lobotka, they've got a very good midfield. Yeah, no, definitely. Lobotka, I mean, he's he's top. He has been a top player actually for a while now. Just, I guess people don't know who he is because based on Napoli, he won a league last year for Napoli. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. definitely 
quality. Um, I think also uh, Hanchko in, in defense, central defense is also really good. Yeah. Um, Dubravka, shockingly, has been really good. Yeah, well, Dubravka is, I, I, I wouldn't say really good, but he's competent. Yeah. He's competent. You know, he's, he was better you know. than what he was in the Premier League this season, <laughs> I guess. Yes. That, that's yeah. a qualifier. Um, yeah, and and I think the they, they the few players they they up the game just a little bit. Mm-hmm. They are they they but again they they won the first game because Belgium was being stupid. They actually <laughs> lost against Ukraine, right? Ukraine actually had to come back against them, and then Romania. Yeah. They were fighting against Romania evenly. And there were some accusations, right, that Slovakia and and Romania were collude with each other to go through. Uh, yeah, because they, and they didn't. They, fought, they, they didn't. They, no, they actually fought. Yeah, and and they had to really, in a way, because it, 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 like this was like every team was on four points, and I was watching the mm-hmm. um, I was watching the uh, Romania Ukraine game. Yeah. No, sorry, Romania Slovakia game. Yeah. Um, because uh, you know, I was interested in seeing Romania play, <laughs> and I was listening to the Belgium Ukraine game on the radio uh-huh. in the background, sure. and the, 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 the group the group changed. Mm-hmm. You know, in the space of half an hour, it was like Romania are top, and then it was Romania are bottom. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and then it was like uh, Ukraine are going through as second place. Ukraine are now bottom. Belgium, are t- and you were like listening to it. Oh my God, we're all over the place here. Yeah. I think the what the, 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 the there was a spell. I'm sure. Yeah, Romania was out. Yeah, they were, yeah. They were yeah. down. Yeah. You know, and then they drew, and then Belgium were going out. You know, and like, uh, no, I think oh, it was it, it, it was always Belgium was always going to through. Belgium were always going through. A bit like I was uh, like, no, no, I think Belgium would have gone out if Ukraine they scored if Ukraine was in the lead, but Ukraine was never in the lead. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, they, 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 I mean, Romania and Slovakia, fair play to them. They played up their level. Um, yeah, and uh, I think their coaches were actually both of their managers are good. Manage their, their teams well. Um, yeah, and they have limited so, resources and they shepherd them yeah. well. So, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll we'll see what they do. Uh, Belgium and and uh, <laughs> and, and uh, Noah would be so proud of us because yeah. as we're talking about um, limited teams being shepherded by good managers, let's move on to Group F. Oh yeah, and talk yeah. about a limited manager shepherding a team of talented individuals in Portugal. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, um, I know they've qualified comfortably and they are seen as one of the favourites, but mm-hmm. this team looks very fragile to me and I'm going to lay the blame at the door of Cristiano Ronaldo. because uh, um, I'm laying the blame on the, the, in the door of Roberto Martinez. Okay, because mm-hmm. he's not strong enough to drop Ronaldo. Yeah, no, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, but like I, I thought that that last game was very telling, the way that Ronaldo yeah. decided that he wanted to had his stats, you know, mm-hmm. and play against a perceived soft team, even though every other player was getting rested. Yeah. You know, um, he decided this was his opportunity. And I, I still, he's a, a really talented player. And there's some things that he's not lost. He's still got a great first touch. Mm-hmm. You know, he's got a good shot. But it's I'm sorry, it's like defences cool. can just... A, a, a well-organized defense will not concede yeah. against Ronaldo because he just hasn't got the ability to get in behind and, and trouble defenses the way he used to. So. The, weird, the, the, the bad thing is, so Ronaldo, he is what he is. He can still be a useful player, sure. The bad thing is, Roberto Martinez is bending the, this team all out of shape, yeah. doing weird, weird things. Like this 3-4-3 three, three thing does not work, but he keeps trying to come back to it for some reason. The moment he, they drop that 3-4-3, three, three, they instantly look really good against Turkey. Yeah. But he came back to experiment with it again in the next game. And so, again, that's the, I don't know what Peter Martinez is going to do going forward. He, he's a guy who will just do weird shit. I, so he, they're unpredictable. Again, talent-wise, this is the team that absolutely should be one of the favorites. Yeah. Top to bottom. But yeah, I don't know. It's like, it, I, I know they've lost their last game. It doesn't matter. That that game against just, Georgia. Just, 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 just. Yeah, because they'd already qualified. But like um they they've still got a lot of depth in that squad. Mm-hmm. You know, like they yeah, they've sure. got they've got, you know, a, a couple of players for most positions. Yeah. Um and they I think have got uh, as talented as everybody talks about England's midfield uh, midfield being, I think like with Bernardo Silva and Bruno Fernandes in your no, midfield, I think you've got far better. Yeah. Um, but again, it's even worse than Southgate. Southgate at least is predictable. I, I don't know what Martinez is going to do next game. Um, well, I, I think you've already answered that question. He's going to play three four three. He's going to three four three. Yeah, that's true, and it's not going to work. That's he keeps coming back to that. It just doesn't work. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Um, 
Georgia. Oh, you've skipped over Turkey. I, 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 we'll I, I, get to okay. Turkey. We'll get to Turkey. Uh, okay. I want to, uh, Georgia. Uh, I think I played them up a bit. I don't. I, I don't think I made any predictions about Georgia. Whether they go through or not. You I mean, did. You did talk about them, and you did say that, that they. You thought that they would have a good tournament. Mm-hmm. So I think in that respect, you deserve a pat on the back. The one. The, the one I, I would only give you a B plus sure. for your assessment of Georgia because the one player you did Mikatazi. mention, yeah, Mikatazi, and I, he's been my favourite player of the tournament. I, I, mm. Every game I've watched uh, that he's been in, I think it's fantastic. He's one of these players who you sort of you look at and go, I can't believe he's a professional footballer because he looks <laughs> up against some of the others. He looks like he's about four foot nothing, you know, <laughs> um, and yeah, he's got this giant bushy beard that yeah. can't be aerodynamic in any way at all. <laughs> you know, it's got to it's got to knock at least five to ten kilometers an hour off his his running pace. But his quality of passing is outstanding. You know, I, I like I, he puts the ball exactly where he wants it. He's short passing. He's give and go. It, it, it's brilliant to watch him. I can never pronounce the name of his uh, right. It, it, I mean, to be honest, Bing, it's taken me three games to be able to say Mikatadze. So, um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, but like that last game that they had against Poland, those goal, that, that first goal was yeah, outstanding. You know, yeah, I, I, know. I, I love watching that type of football, you know, on the break with pace, accurate passing, give and go. It's, it, it, it was great to watch. Again, give what I will, have to give their coach, Blaise Sagnon, uh, World Cup finalists with France previously. Um, they, unlike most like these smaller teams, they say, okay, what do we do? We go up against the pure opposition. We defend, we low block, we, we just yeah. have to do it. That's no, there's no choice. Well, if you're Georgia, that's not your strength. Your defenders are ancient, we're not good, and you can't, if you do that, okay, but yeah, they, but you're saying goalie, that, but they, I know, they, I know. Oh they've got the keeper to bail them out at the back as well. Yeah, though, that's right. Right. But if you, if you put too much pressure on Mamadou, really eventually he will break. Yeah, so yeah. Can, but what well, they basically said, okay, we can't do that. It's not our strength. Our strength is actually, okay, sure, well, our keeper is world class, but yeah. our best players are him and then our our, our forwards. Yeah. So we just got to attack. And to their credit, again, it's not that they completely go on uh, all, all, all out attack, but they don't just completely sit back and just wait for it. No. Waves and, and waves. Uh, I, 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 I do think there's um, a, a measure of playing like that does show that you've got confidence in your keeper. Yeah. Because you are willing to take a risk, confident yeah. that, okay, mm-hmm. our defense might not be the best, but our keeper is. Yeah. And so, like, I, I, I think this. one of the telling stats is I think he's made most saves of course. numerically in yeah. the uh, in the group stages. Yeah. So, um, you know, he's obviously a good keeper and they uh, feel confident enough to attack would, knowing that they've got a chance that he's going to pull them out. If they get I will say short. top five in the world right now. And this yeah. is not just completely based on tournament. This is based on his past two years, two seasons at Valencia. Yeah. Uh, he, 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 this is not, this, Miko Tazi, I actually have a huge question mark. Uh, that guy's club form has been huge weather bane. Uh, he, he, he's been, had a horrible start of this, of last season at Ajax and got, got loaned out, I think, at Mets, which is suddenly, this one skyrocketed. That guy, who knows? He's going to Monaco next season. We'll see. Is, is that already done, that? Mixed That's already done. Done. That's already done. Because, yeah. like, I, I would love to see him at Preston North End. So, <laughs> if, if Monaco doesn't work out. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe not, maybe it will not work out. So, we'll see. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Mamadou Dushvili has always been good. Um, I think yeah. people just finally saw how good he can be in the Euros. Um, yeah. So yeah, well, and, he, 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 to be fair, Mikitadze, yeah. I think, has stood out every game. Yeah. Whereas I would say that... Um, Franz Vili, Skilly yeah. has only been good in the last game. Last yeah. Two, yeah. He, he turned it on in the last game. It's almost like he was waiting for his opportunity against... I think he, uh, Franz Vili, his childhood idol was uh, Ronaldo. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a certain motivation there. To, yeah, uh, yeah, he, it, it, yeah, he, he wanted to get noticed. So, yeah. and, and I think he did. It, yeah. yeah, it was uh, very, very good. Um, but, but yeah, no, they're through. Yeah, definitely. And so we move on to Turkey and the Czech Republic. I, I wanted to talk about these two together because they're last game. <laughs> yeah. um, there were, I think, officially nineteen cards. Yes. Uh, yeah. So they, I think, almost the same number of people who were sitting on the bench got booked as people yeah. playing. <laughs> Well, I, I think I, I, I say a significant number of the bookings were coaches and subs, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. So uh, even I think the uh, the Turkish coach's uh, interpreter uh, also got booked. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know translators can can get booked. Yeah. Uh, so that's 
priceless. Okay, thing. Uh, one of the red, so that game had an early red card, but then yeah. Turkey got a super goal from Chernoglu, Tern- who's suspended for the next game. Because he's one of the endless number of people. Too, too, too many yellows. <laughs> um, but like Czechia was actually performing much better after that run, like the 60th minute. And they will feel really hard that done by. I think they are feeling extremely hard done by. Yeah. Because uh, they had a go- they had a golden opportunity that was denied by a phantom foul. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. The, the, that game was just a complete mess. <laughs> um, I mean, Czechia, they, they're, they're not good. <laughs> So it's not a surprise they're out. Um, yeah, but I, I think in that group they they're going to feel no, that they've missed an opportunity. Absolutely. I think uh, they if they'd not had that player sent off, they would yeah, have no. fancied beaten Turkey. Yeah, no, with absolutely. the amount of pressure that they put on them, you know, and uh, that group would have looked different. And oh, yeah. I think if they had have done, I think there would have been a lot more controversy about the uh, team that Portugal put out against Georgia because uh, mm-hmm. everybody's like relatively laid back about it because ultimately it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but I think if uh, Turkey had been going home and uh, Georgia had gone through, um, it might have been a different yeah, maybe. <laughs> different discussion. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, hmm. do we want to move on and talk about the yeah. the round of oh, 16 that's, coming up, that's the cool. highlights uh, uh, of what we think is going to be most interesting and uh, uh, yeah, this, it might pan out? Yeah, should sure, just go through them. Uh, so, uh, the we'll go to do, just go, do, go for the, the brackets. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I was going to say, do, should we just start by saying who we think is going to win which games? Uh, sure. Uh, so top of the bracket. So tomorrow we have Germany Denmark. Um, yep. I think Germany should see off Denmark. Uh, it's a tricky game for Germany in that Denmark kind of like Switzerland. They're compact. They have fall. They they they're solid, but yeah, can't score. Denmark cannot score goals right now. Yeah, so they they are well organized, Denmark, aren't they? They've got uh, and they've got a, 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 a few defenders. I think uh, their defenders have had good tournaments so far. So, um, but they're but the Germany just need to nick that one goal, and I think that could be enough to see off Denmark. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, I'm still going with Germany. Uh, same. Yeah, I'm with you, Germany. Yeah. Okay. Now that next one is this one is interesting. Switzerland versus Italy. Yeah, and for uh, me, I think I, I I see the Swiss yeah. beating the Italians. <laughs> yeah, because okay, I, I think, on the same page. Yeah, I think they've just got a more a, mm-hmm. a, 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 a more rounded team, and I think yeah. the Italians are definitely having trouble scoring goals. So, um, I think just outright Switzerland is a better team right now, even yeah. just talent wise. They're just better than Italy. Um, the Italy, I think the best player in the group stages was uh, California Fury. I didn't see, I didn't. So that's a play I didn't, I didn't see that much of. Well, Bologna. yeah, but he's suspended. But I, think, I know. He suspended. I, yeah, <laughs> but uh, I think we were, uh, but we were talking about this at the start because uh, I think Noah in the first pod, Noah said like, um, "Well, Italy, I don't really recognize any of the defenders. Who are they?" And yet you've just mentioned the yeah. guy who is a like, cracking yeah, tournament so far. So, yeah. so but he's out. He's suspended. Yeah. So yeah. who's the next guy? I haven't also seen a lot of Von Journal. Cool name. Uh, maybe he's maybe he's the guy. Maybe he's great. It's definitely not Gianluca Mancini. If he, they play Gianluca Mancini, they're, they're they're screwed. I've watched enough of Gianluca Mancini to know that guy's not that's, that guy's not it. Okay, all right. Uh, so yeah. next one. Uh, England, okay, what have you got next? Spain, <sighs> Georgia, or England, Slovakia? Uh, it is England, Slovakia. By time wise, it is England, Slovakia. Oh my god. Yeah. So um, I, you're going to be watching that, aren't you, Bing? You're you're going to be really excited with that one. That 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 that, that will be a proper ding dong affair, won't it? It will be end to end. I'm going to goals galore. I think uh, one nothing. England scores in like five minutes and do nothing. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Right? <laughs> okay. Right. All right. It's yeah. instead of what do they have been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Harry Kane bounces one in off his bum in the ninth minute. Like yeah, and then, England just sit back and soak up the pressure for the rest of the game. Is that not what Southgate does every single game? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> He's trademarked it. So that's it. We'll so see. Spain, Georgia, then. What, what do we uh, see there? Ooh, this one is interesting. Do, we want to, do, I, do I want to go completely crazy? And, and do do you think... Do you think, with what you said about the Spanish defence mm. and the Georgian attack, do you mm-hmm. think that the Georgians are maybe one of the teams in this tournament that have the keys to unlock Spain? Um, they they definitely can are capable of scoring against that defence. Mm-hmm. Um, and by the way, I don't really rate when I see him on that much either. That guy always has a mistake in him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, I don't know. I, so much will depend on which Spain turns up. Because you watch the Spain 
in the in, in the Croatia game that was super clinical for like 10 minutes, right? And yeah. is that the real Spain? Because remember back in the World Cup, Spain scored seven goals against Costa Rica in, the first, in their first game as well. Yeah. And they look crackling in that game as well. And all they, and again, it's the same story. Oh, look at all these cool young talent, Pedri, Gabby, oh, they're all playing super well. Yeah. And then they lost in the round of 16 against Morocco. Yeah. Well, it's like, this is it. I, I Personally, I, I think I, you have to go Spain because sure. if they are going to tick over, then Georgia may see very little of the ball. They may, they may not really yeah. have the ball to, to, to play with. But the in saying that, is, yeah. with their strikers, yeah. they, they might not need a lot of it. Like yeah. They are capable of scoring very... Like That's one thing that impressed me when I watched them in the group stages. Their ability to move the ball from yeah. the back to front in transition mm-hmm. on the ground was incredibly quick. Yeah. You know, they were really, really, really quick um, getting the and, ball back to front. You know, yeah, so. I'm, telling, I'm telling Spain should absolutely win this game. Yeah. But again, it's one of those, it looks like, oh, it's lopsided. It's Georgia. They're tiny. They're, they, they shouldn't have a problem. You, have, yeah. you don't take that opponent seriously. You think too much of yourself. You get too arrogant. You miss, you, you scuff a few chances that you should have scored. And then suddenly they nick one. Mm. Now what? Right? Because, yeah, so, so you, this is a team, okay, you should beat on paper, but you have to take them seriously. I'm well, stuck on I, 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 I think like there are only a few ties here. I think England, Slovakia, Spain, Georgia, Portugal, Slovenia. Sure. I think those are the only three that the sort of man in the street um, would look at and say these have the possibility of being absolute thumpings. These sure. like the big team could go out and give a little team a real hiding. Yeah, and I do think it, uh, it's going to put pressure on the big I teams. Are, yeah, and I think those are the exact team, team, teams that will not be actually be. Yeah, uh, be, and, be, be and, 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 and like I think there's yeah, I think, a lot of teams yeah. that won't be smashed in. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the the fans will put a lot of pressure on the, these big teams to score a lot of goals. They're going Which to expect big happen. wins. Yeah, um, in all these games, England just doesn't do that. Uh, I don't think Spain can score a lot of goals against Mamed Um Yeah. So yeah, well, like, he, to... he's he's had a season at Valencia, stopping them from scoring, hasn't he? So he, that, that, that's his that's his honeymoon. He knows every single one of those players. Yeah, on the other yeah. side, everybody knows him as well. So we'll see. Uh, again, Spain should still go through, but again, take that take don't take that opponent. Like, I guess as okay. well. We'll say all right. So uh, we move France, on to France, oh, Belgium. Are, are you just going to flip a coin for this one? <laughs> no, no, no. I uh, know. Have I, you got a strong I, feeling I, one I, way I, or the other? I still think France wins, and I think this one. Look, friends obviously need to up their level. They, they've been dreadful so far. Um, so depending on which friend shows up, if they actually do up their level, I think Belgium will get stretched. I think this could look like 4 nothing or something even more yeah. stupid than that. Because uh, that defense, it hold it's up. fragile. Wild face looks terrible. Yeah. That guy is a championship level defender. That's it. That, that, that's his level. Um, yeah. And he wasn't even that good for Leicester. I don't know why people are saying he's good. He, we watched him, right? <laughs> yeah. He, was, he wasn't even that good. Um, I think it, it's just that uh, Leicester did so well, didn't they? Well, you yeah, know? yeah, because the rest of their team is Premier so, League. <laughs> you know what they say, the a high tide lifts all boats. Yeah. Thing, so. yeah. uh, but no, again, much will depend on which kind of if France of the group stages continue to play like that. Then Belgium can be a problem. Yeah. Um, but French should. It, 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 if they do what's expected of them. Yeah, well, the one thing I would say, and again, um, this is just casting back to the uh, first pod that we did with Noah. Mm-hmm. I didn't give, uh, I, I was quite dismissive. I thought if Belgium were going to do something, other players were going to have to come to the party. And Noah was quite firm on the importance of Kevin De Bruyne and how if mm-hmm. Kevin De Bruyne plays well, Belgium will do well. I think we've seen that. I think he is the key that unlocks them. He makes them tick. And if a team can get to grips with him, yeah, then Belgium aren't going to do anything. Well, like their and, and one I, really good performance was in their second game yeah. where he, he came to the party. You know, he yeah, got the and opportunity and he took him. So Jabari looks pissed at the end of the last game. And we yeah. saw him in the last World Cup when he disengages. He is completely disengages. And then you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. But in in fairness, though, I, I I do think that in this one he will probably give it another go because I think we'll like see. quite a few players, this will be his probably his last big tournament, uh, you know, or is it definitely his last it chance at, at winning have, a big tournament. It should have already been for Thomas last tournament. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, uh, I, I'm still going with France. I'm going with the pedigree. Okay. All right. And so uh, Portugal, Slovenia. I, I think we've seen the Portuguese going through here. Mm-hmm. You're going to make a case for Slovenia? 
Yeah, no black. Uh, uh, okay. Which go in. So they look great again. They look great against Turkey, but Turkey is. Uh, we'll talk about Turkey in just a bit. Um, against Czech, again, Czechia is actually a much more limited team than, than, than Slovenia. Maybe name wise, Czechia may sound better than Slovenia, but no, Slovenia has, has a better, better team. But Czechia already gave Portugal a lot of problems. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> again, well, they, so- I, I, you know, I, the, the thing is, I just think um, with Bernardo Silva and uh, Bruno I Fernandes. Mean, good again in the first game. You know, I think uh, game, Portugal will have too much, but um, I don't know. The, uh, the, the, the big strength, I think, uh, for Slovenia is probably going to be their midfield. So we, we defense, yeah, yeah, we'll wait and see. Uh, yeah, no. So the Portugal, like, it's either good. It, it might be a thrashing. It might be yeah. a no, no penalties. Yeah. Uh, um, I, for me, I, I think I see the Portuguese edge in this. I think I, 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 I despite disliking him intensely, it, it's the sort of thing that is bound to happen. I see Ronaldo getting. One or two goals. I'm and, going to go uh, out there. Slovenia shut them out. It goes to penalties. <laughs> Ronaldo misses the penalty. I, I, I'm a hater. I would love to see it. I, I, I yeah. I'm I, a I hater. I take it for that. So. Uh, okay, Romania versus Netherlands. Okay, I'm going to say Romania just mm. because uh, I, I'm giving them a lot of credit for that uh, mm. that win against Ukraine. Although I don't think they've they've um, lived up to that early no, I promise. Have they? they haven't been as good. As the first, and again, a lot of this context depending. I think with Ukraine, the problem was we talked about how Ukraine. Like, there's a lot of people, things, you know, a lot of people at home. They're obviously yeah. going through really tough times because of the war and so on. Maybe the, sometimes a lot of the expectation can go the other way. Right. Yeah. There's too much pressure. You wanted to impress too much and you just screw up everything screwed up. I think that's what happened to Ukraine. So I don't know how much of that factor is then helps Romania. You know, two of their goals against Ukraine were also wonder goals. Again, as a keeper who should have played much better than that. Yeah. And was dropped afterwards. Yeah. It was dropped afterwards by a much better one. Uh, I'm cautioned against Romania. Again, Netherlands, despite not playing well at all, despite having a giant hole in the middle of the field, they've still been scoring goals. Yeah. They even against France, which was nil nil, they they're the ones who actually got closer to scoring the goal, right? They had the one that was ruled out controversially. Yeah. So I'm still gonna go with Netherlands, even though I have I have a lot of misgivings like you about Netherlands. Well, I, 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 just because I uh, I want a bit of romance and no, upset, I'm gonna go for Romania. It. No, I can absolutely see this. Remember that's yeah. Euros Netherlands also went out in this stage against Czechia. So yeah. they're absolutely capable of all. I'm I, I'm going for Romania. They'll win one nil, and it'll be another wonder goal. Sure. So. Again, that wouldn't surprise me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm when I'm saying Netherlands will go through. I'm not putting a lot of faith in uh, Austria versus Turkey. Yes. Now, uh, I, I think the Turks, particularly with their 18 yellow cards or whatever it is they picked up in the last round and their suspensions, I think they're probably the worst team left in the yeah. round of 16. I think their attack is still can look very dynamic. I think Arda Guler and Inan Yovitz have looked fantastic. Young players, awesome. Beres Yomaz is good, but he's not a striker. He's a winger masquerading as a striker. Okay. Uh, the defense looked like a bunch of chuckle fucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, they, go, they, they went back and forth between uh, their two keepers. That's never a good sign. Sh- their captain, Chao Noglu, uh, this, the, 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 the heartbeat of the team suspended. They're screwed, I think. Yeah. Um, Austria will just, I mean, Austria 100% will score goals against Turkey, right? I think so. Uh, I, 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 and I think if there is going to be a thrashing yeah, it's in this thrashing. round, uh, this this could be the one. Yeah. So, particularly with the uh, the sort of the energy mm-hmm. that the tur- the Austrian midfield has got. Uh, as we were saying earlier on, that's where their real strength lies. They, they're just going to outrun. Uh, just very you know, quickly. Outwork the opposition. Last time these two game, these two team, team plays, which was a friendly, so keep that in mind, Austria won 6 1. Wow. <laughs> And that's, I think, against a Turkey that still had those players that are suspended now. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, that's a friendly. So. All right. So, um, out of these teams, then, who do we see going deep into the tournament? Uh, can you pick two finalists uh, from this lot? Uh, God, I, don't know. I think I see uh, uh, an England Austria semi final on that side of the draw, definitely. Mm, Switzerland Austria. That's your final. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that would be a great final, wouldn't it? They're right next to each other. Yeah. Well, and two teams. And who Germany. Yeah. Two teams who haven't won major a major tournament before. Yeah. I yeah. think England. I mean, okay. Look, the 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 lot again. The, do you trust England against Switzerland? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I, 
I, I, I do because I do, I do. Well, I think it will depend on the Slovakia game. We'll get we'll get a feel for what happens there. Right. If I think if Gareth Southgate plays Anthony Gordon, that team could be unlocked. Mm, I'm not sure. Anthony Gordon really is that good. <laughs> well, no, I don't think he is. But I do think what it will do is it will stop this nonsense where he's trying to play Jude Bellingham, Phil Foden, and and Saka all in the same position. You know, like like. I, I, I think it will give England balance. Um, there's a you, you read the Guardian, don't you? The football, yeah, um, yeah, a bit, yeah. The, the football news. So Jonathan Liu in the Guardian made a sure. great point recently about mm-hmm. um, England's inability to play a left footer on the left hand side, and he mm-hmm. basically said like they've just surrendered thirty percent of the pitch to the opposition because any half decent coach knows that Phil Foden won't go on the outside against them and Kieran Trippier won't go on the outside against them. So the, the defenders, the, the team on the right-hand side that they're attacking, they don't have to do any work. That's just given that that side of the, f- the field up. Everything is going to come through the inside. And like we saw that in the group games. Like These teams all packed the box. Yep, you know, and England couldn't get through, and 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 they didn't have the ability to go on the outside. And I don't think Anthony Gordon is that good a player. But I'll be honest, I do think that if Alf- Alfie Doughty from Luton and Anthony Gordon had been playing in these group games, England would have been able to unlock some of the better players because they would have had that extra thirty percent of the pitch to play in. You know, and, and they just didn't have it. Mm. With my the, worry with- is that it's not just about individual players; it's down to the manager not allowing those players to do this. Is Phil Foden incapable of being just with using his talents to play as a wide player? Is he just not able to be like at least eighty percent of Anthony Gordon? Um, Can you, as a on, coach, not tell him to just do that? Can you not tell on, Bellingham to drop it a bit deeper? And on 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 the left hand side, I don't think he is in international football. And I, I think these mm-hmm. are it, well, one of them is a reason that we've touched on mm-hmm. because he he at Manchester City is playing with better players and okay. they are a better organized team. And I think the mm-hmm. other reason, and I think it, it, it's something that. Um, you know, I, 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 it's almost self-evident. I think particularly in international football where teams are less well coached, I think pace yes. can be a real difference maker. And Foden doesn't have pace and Gordon does. Well see. Um, so I do um, think the ability to go round players on the outside and, and skin them, mm. you know, gives gives a, a player at an international level um, an edge that they don't, you know, it, it, it yeah. can be less important at club level where teams are much better coached and players have had much better time to work on shape and, and defence. But at international level, I, I think um, Gordon's pace would be an asset. I think England need it. Oh, they look yeah. laborious. Yeah, no. <laughs> Philosophically, I agree with you. I'm just not convinced if they actually play, it will actually play that play on that way. Uh, if you just put, I, I just don't know if the change is as simple as just putting this guy Anthony Gordon onto the field. Maybe it will. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Well, um, I, 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 I think it would, uh, it would open it up, and I, and I'm only yeah. saying Anthony Gordon because he hasn't got any other left-sided players to play there. <laughs> Call up any other. What he did, I don't know. Uh, he's so stupid. Uh, again, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced it's a, such an easy solution. But they have in the past, England have again been unimpressive in the group and then somehow managed to find something in the next two games at least. Yeah, well, so so that's the weak half of the draw. Yeah, the the, the so called weak half of the draw. We've buttoned that one off. Then, so what are mm-hmm. we thinking about the strong half of the draw? Who are you seeing progress through there? Where are you seeing your semis in that? And, and uh, this this is where I might be the the, the one that's wrong. I mean, the, the, that that's clinging on to something well, that may not be there with France. Well, 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 well Bing, you were wrong about England anyway. So uh, th- uh, this uh, would be you being wrong again. Maybe. <laughs> hey, uh, I, France. I don't know. I can't see past the pedigree. Um, and also, these are if it's Belgium and if it is Portugal that they play in the next game, these are teams that France have historically routinely dispatched with almost no problem, no issue, mm. uh, which might not mean anything, which shouldn't actually mean anything. But those are also teams that currently have. Okay, France isn't doing great. The Champ is, I don't know, he has things to figure out. Belgium and Portugal are doing weird stuff <laughs> uh, that are almost incomprehensible. Yeah, I'm so always going think- to go with the team that's stable, at least. So I think the um yeah uh, I think like Spain uh, Spain and Germany projected to meet in the quarterfinals. Yes. yes. 
Yeah, so I, I think after the, the, the group stages, like, there would be two favourites for many people. I, I think <laughs> the next game will be crucial. Like you said, maybe we're giving too much weight to the uh, result against Scotland, but I do think Musiala has looked like a, a real okay. a real player. And I think... So, yeah, with, Musiala, uh, with Musiala, my question, so what his... Again, I've watched a lot of Musiala. Yeah. I watched the Bundesliga. Uh, my the Musiala's uh, question uh, mark is I, I've only watched him against Scotland, yeah. so it's maybe not a fair comparison. Musiala, when he's on, he's on. He is yeah. Musiala when he's on. He's he's probably third, fourth best player in the entire world. Yeah. Um, and, and, this, and I'm just period. Um, but there are games in which Musiala because that Musiala's a guy who maybe just takes on guys too much. Mm. He's always dribbling and he's fantastic at it at times when he's on so like, so he should do that but they're against again this season for Bayern they're against and Musiala just disappears yeah and Nagos men have put all of his eggs in Musiala's basket and have shunted worse and this is com- me as a Bayer Leverkusen fan being completely biased I think Florian Wirtz in the end is going to be the better player than Jamal Musiala <laughs> so I think you should put all the eggs in Wirtz's basket but okay um, okay go with Musiala but the um, the the, uh, the the advantage in Nagelsmann's got those. He, he's got them both, hasn't he? So he can he can well, afford. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if he. he, 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 he if up in birds next game, so we'll see. Yeah, if the lineup rumors that you're hearing are correct, and that yeah. Fulkrug is coming in for Wurtz, mm-hmm. then um, I would imagine that means that Havertz is going to drop into Wurtz's role, doesn't it? And Fulkrug will be the point of yeah, the attack. Yes. But he has yeah, got the no, 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 he's no, got no, the no, opportunity, no. hasn't he? Because yeah, Havertz, Havertz can play across the front uh, line. So. I think Havertz should be the one dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, he's got the ability to bring Wurtz on and drop Havertz yeah. or move Havertz over to Musiala's position and bring Maybe. because he he hasn't been running these players into the ground either, has he? Yeah, that's true. Like uh, they've well, all been off sixty to seventy minutes. Yeah, that's true. So. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm Germany versus Spain. Germany versus Spain. This is almost a coin flip for me. Okay. Uh, I go with Germany for now. Okay. And then, so what are you seeing then? Um, Germany versus France. Okay. Yeah, I think I would agree. I think mm-hmm. the, the French side has just got the pedigree uh, and the quality of players. And I think Deschamps is limited, but I think he'll go through um, because they're just too good. And uh, mm-hmm. Germany, I, I, they've been great. And they have got that home advantage, which is definitely something for teams. Teams do seem to overperform at home, don't they? So um, I'm not completely confident with you know those picks, by the way. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'm not, not completely. Not, yeah, you you wouldn't put a, your, your house on it. You wouldn't bet on it. I, no. I never bet it. Period. <laughs> but uh, you would need even less <laughs> in yeah. this situation. Yeah, honestly, the team that, that I'm most confident of, of getting to the semifinal is my house, Austria. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm the same. Just because they did so well in the group stages, and they are in goal. that half. They're in that half of the draw, aren't they? And yeah. they've got Turkey. So yeah, yeah. no, it might be fourth goal. Maybe they lose to Turkey, but but um. Yeah, no, they, they look like the most likely. The other team just they just looks confound me. It's, sometimes just confound me at, at some level. I know exactly what Austria is going to is and what they're going to do. That's the so. Thing. Um, just to, to to change topic slightly. Yes. I mean, just overall, how have you enjoyed the tournament so far? Some really good, some really good games. There's a lot of uh, cool, cool goals. There's some excitement. Every game involving Group C, especially England, is a huge <laughs> downer. <laughs> Generally, um, uh, thumbs up apart from Group C. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, I give uh, entertainment, entertainment level. I give uh, most of the other groups seven to nines. I give the uh, Group C an F, a zero. Yeah. 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 Um, and and so uh, in the upcoming fixtures that we've got then for the round of sixteen, are there any that are particularly standing out to you as ones that you're really excited about watching? Um, I really want Spain versus Georgia. Yeah. Um, France versus Belgium might just for the for the drum. I mean, I, I'm not sure. That, I'm I don't think that's a good game. That would turn out to be a good no. game. But there's a lot of narratives. I think. So. Yeah. Um, Austria and Turkey could have a lot of goals in it if that's what you're interested. In. Yeah. Um, and if you if you're really hurting for sleep, there's England and Slovakia. <laughs> yeah. yeah but video record it if your your night is isn't doing it for you yeah yeah it, 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 it's the insomnia prescription yeah definitely good good okay well i don't know yeah. is there anything else you want to cover i think we've uh, uh no i think we're good uh i don't know if we want to come back for the well i don't know if no i want to i think he, uh, we, we should turn this back to him uh once he comes when he's ready to come back yeah um, well i'm not sure when the next game the next gap in the games is but like, yeah 
we should be able to do at least one more, I think, shouldn't we? Probably. Whether uh, it's a, at a, least. a preview. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe semis, maybe final. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see how yeah. So, but uh, yeah, no, thank you very much uh, for uh, contributions. Uh, yeah. Thanks for popping in and listening to me. So. Yeah, no. And thank you, all listeners. Uh, this has been uh, Vassos of King's Square Soccer Cast. Uh, hopefully, yeah. everything went all right. Uh, yeah. And, and- what yeah. I would just add as well is if you've got any comments on anything that we've said and you've got anything you want to disagree about, then pop into the Discord and, and let us know what you yeah. think. Uh, it, this is, I think, are going to be put, be posted on YouTube. I will not read those comments. Maybe you will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I hope you do listen to us wherever you are. You can. Um, and uh, yeah, join the conversation, I suppose. Fantastic. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks very thank much, you. Ping. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Okay. Speak soon. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.